All righty. Okay. Hello. Hello. It looks like we are live. Okay. I'm going to give you guys a minute since uh, this was unannounced and uh, we are just getting ready to try our new, um, nope, that's not the right one. <laughs> okay, you can see I'm really ready to be back here today. All right, let me get rid of that. And uh, welcome everyone. So here's my new plan. It is Tuesday, it is 12 o'clock, and I just wanted to jump on and tell you a little bit about my new crafty plans for Tuesdays at noon. And if you saw that thumbnail, hello, hello, thank you guys for saying hello. If you saw that thumbnail, there it is, let's craft your joy. Uh, you'll notice that uh, we're not saying it's Tidy Up Tuesday. And I have decided that 2024 is going to be a year full of changes. And I thought what I'd do today is come on and give you a little bit of, of some details about what I have planned for 2024. I'm going to give you a lot more information on Friday during Friday night scrapbooking, and I'm going to be putting a post up about that a little later today. But uh, some really fun, fun new changes I'm looking forward to for this coming year. So welcome, everyone. Hello, Trish. Hello, Judy H. And happy birthday, birthday girl. Oh, my goodness. Happy New Year. Um, <laughs> you got a double whammy. You got to celebrate all the holidays and your birthday. Jennifer's here. Kathy, Dawn. Hello. Hello. <coughs> Sorry, here I go again with my little coughing. Maria, Jackie, Ricky's here. Happy New Year. Julie, hello. Yes, I had a wonderful holiday. It was really nice um, just taking some time off and celebrating with my family. The kids have been home. It's been a full house again, so it's been really, really nice. Uh, Maria's here. <clears throat> Let's see. Nancy's here. So good to see you guys. Okay, so as I mentioned... This is going to be a new type of Tuesday coming in 2024. So what I wanted to do was take a look at what I've been offering in the virtual community and really kind of decide where I'd like to spend my time, where I'd like to focus, and what I can do to add some fun and some new ideas, but also uh, just celebrate um, some easy things that we can do together as well. So um, starting Friday, I've actually created a new schedule for Friday night scrapbooking. So it's going to be on the first and third Fridays of every month. So I'm not going to be doing every two weeks kind of a rolling every two weeks anymore. It's going to change to just the first and third Friday. But the biggest change is that I am going to, this year, 2024, I really want to spend more time with my customers, with people who have chosen me as their advisor. And I know a lot of you just get inspiration just from watching, and I so appreciate that. But I also just want to um, acknowledge my customers and my team members, actually. So that third Friday is going to be for customers and team members only. So that Friday night scrapbooking is going to be by invitation only. And there'll be more info on that this Friday. But the first Friday of every month is welcome to absolutely everyone. Anyone and everyone can watch. And this year we are going to kick off some new crafty plans. I am so excited about this project, but you're gonna to have to tune in on Friday. But I'll give you a hint, we are really focusing on color. And so that's what I'm actually going to do a little project with you today, focusing on color. So um, yeah, and uh, oh good, I'm so glad you guys, hello Yudi and Mary B's here, hello, hello, Kim's here, Cindy, woo, yeah, it's, this is exciting. Okay, <laughs> I love it. Okay, so, um, so, 
so Fridays are changing up a little bit. I'm um, I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, the first Friday of the month, though, it's going to continue. Friday night scrapbooking for everyone. You're going to have to tune in on what my big plans are on Friday. So hopefully uh, you'll be as excited. My good friend Donna H. actually um, turned me on to this idea, and, and my head is just spinning. I'm so excited about it. Okay. So secondly, let's come to Tuesday. So today I am live, and uh, and so I wanted to do this today live to kind of touch base with you, to give you a chance. If you have questions, please feel free to ask me questions. But Tuesdays are going to change up. You're going to get new content at 12 noon every Tuesday. The change is that it's not always going to be live. So what I'm going to focus on are fun, quick, easy projects that you can do using our absolutely amazing Creative Memories products, but just some ideas to get that creativity flowing, to have some fun being crafty, and some just some fun little projects that we can do together. And so today I'm going to start that off just with this fun little um uh, idea that I had on what we can do together and share. And then every Tuesday, it will be a different thing that we'll do. And most of the time, it will be pre recorded, just a short, short little pre recorded. Here's some fun, something fun that you can try. Um, and it's a way of we can get our tools out, we can get our punches out, we can make a quick card or do a quick border or some kind of a fun project together that just kind of gets that creativity going. That's my whole excitement for this year is let's throw in some crafty goodness where we can just spend a few minutes, get something done, feel like we've accomplished, and then we can have renewed energy to go back to our scrapbooking projects. Of course, of course, scrapbooking is near and dear to my heart. That's why Friday night scrapbookings are continuing and my focus on that will always continue. And I have been also sharing uh, pages that I've created in the 101 sketch challenge. So if you, um, I just loaded some new ones because I had some time to scrapbook over the holidays. Uh, so if you're interested in seeing some more ideas of my ideas, make sure to go um, and if you've ordered with me as your advisor, that's a free membership. So just go check out those pages. There's some new sketches for you. And um, also what I wanted to say as far as Tuesdays go, I'm, I'm really excited about this new concept too. Every Tuesday when I feature a new product or a new topic or a new idea, and so today we are going to talk about color. So I have this pack of all this cardstock, all these fun cardstock colors. And every week I'm going to put a featured product in my shop and put it on discount for you for a whole week. So every week there's going to be a new item that I'm going to share on Tuesday. And then Tuesday, that Tuesday will start the new discount. So let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna do a screen share. And I think I have the right one up, yes. So this is my, oops, sorry guys, I've got a, there we go, okay. Um, this is my um, craft some, scrap some joy shop. So if you go to creative memories, I mean, if you go to craftsomejoy.com and you click on shop, scrap some joy shop, this is what pops up. You have a welcome and then now I've added a new, this week's featured product banner. And so, as I mentioned, this year we are kicking off the year with color. So what I want to do is give you an opportunity to get a really nice discount. I'm giving you 30% off on all paper by the sheet, including retired colors. And so every week you'll see a code up here. Do you see this one? It says save on color. It's all caps all letters save on color and when you apply that if you go into my shop and basically what you want to do is just go down here and if you go to paper by the sheet right here this category paper by the sheet 
all of these are in are are part of that category that thirty percent off category. So all of these um, colors, all of these different papers, you can add to your cart. And then once you've added that to your cart, you can go and uh, put in the code, save on color, and you will get 30% off on all of this cardstock. Because this is going to be a super duper colorful year. And I'm super excited about that. And uh on Friday, I'll be telling you how I'm going to be using color this year for 2024. And uh, I thought this would just be a fun way to kick that off. Okay, so any questions, please just pop those um, in the chat. And I know, Linda, I am, that is actually a big question. Canada and international shipping, that is on my list for this year. I really need to figure out how to do that where I can uh, get you guys covered with my shipping. So there's some research that has to go into that, but that is coming soon. Okay, so, okay, here we go. <laughs> um, yeah, so Maria, for I, if your question is on the third Friday, this the invitation only, that is going to be for my CM customers. I know there's kind of this little differentiation between, oh, I bought with your shop, at, you know, like the shop I just showed you, versus using my Creative Memories link. So if you've used my Creative Memories link and chosen me as your advisor, that's where you are going to get that invitation. Or if you are on my Creative Memories team. Okay, so you will be getting a special email with the invitation on how to join. It'll still be live. It'll still be on YouTube. It's just going to be a private link. It won't be a public link. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for the questions. I really want you to kind of ask away because, um, you know, that's, that's the way it's going to be um, to get it understood. Okay. Um, do I know the number of sheets? Question. Uh, the sheets, uh, you can... For, for my special, you can buy as many sheets as you want. This is the rainbow. I just brought this for the little project we're doing today. This is the Rainbow Edges cardstock sampler pack. And you guys know there's a huge promo that just, or a huge launch that just happened. So it's all about rainbow again, too. They um, just launched the new This Life collection from Creative Memories. And let me pop on over there so you can see that, too. Um, and you can see what is brand new with Creative Memories. There's promos, there's an album promo, there's a brand new product that just launched today. So let me share that with you. Really, I'll be talking more about this on Friday. But this is the uh, promo is if you buy four 12 by 12 albums, and it can be any 12 by 12 albums, you get uh, your choice of one of two limited edition album covers free. And that also includes if you get a custom album or a fast -a fab or any of the new ones, look at this new one. It says memories on it. So cute. Um, and then they have the whole this life. So is it, is it all about color? It is about color this year. So they have the new this life, uh, tone on tone. I'm not sure I'm going to have my collection by Friday because I just ordered it today. But that's not going to stop me from talking about what my plans are for 2024 because we're still talking color. But this is a great, some great new products launched today, including <laughs> a tab punch. You guys, how long have I been asking for a tab punch? And I'm really excited about these write on stickers and some, um, the new Valentine collection. We haven't had a Valentine collection in a while. And then they also gave us some new, brand new, uh, albums that we can just drool over as well. The lifter stick is back. Woohoo! They just kept running out of it. So now it is back as well as the rainbow refresh bundle. So just, just a quick uh, preview of what's new there. Okay. Let me come back. I saw a few more questions. So, um, Let's see, Mary, uh, you have a question about the CM website. I thought the new stuff coming out would all be there, but it appears as only albums this time. Oh, I was just showing you. I, I believe it's all there. Um, they did have the queue turned on this morning 
but I believe it's off now. So you could just pop into the website and I, I, I think pretty much everything's there um, and available. And also, uh, speaking of my shop and new stuff, this uh, weekend, as soon as I get my order in, my free gifts for purchase will be changing. So the brand new sketchbooklet is coming out, so that will be a free gift with any purchase. And then also, um, there's a new uh, first quarter paper and embellishment gift that will be a free gift with purchase. And those are changing um, in my shop as soon as I get them in so I can drop those in your orders. Um, okay, so good, good. Uh, Amy, let's see, uh, is the challenge you're talking about a monthly subscription or one-time deal? So the challenge is free for anyone who is a customer. And I did make it, if you are not a customer but you want to be part of the challenge, there is a monthly uh, membership that you can get if you wanted to do that. Okay. And Deborah, oh, great question. Um, what is the weight of the cardstock? So there, um, the cardstock used to be uh, around 80 pound, and some of it still is around 80 pound, but they have actually started making some of their cardstock uh, a little thinner because of just the weight that it adds to albums. So some of the cardstock now is coming in at 60 pounds. Okay. But, uh, but the solid and it's all solid core. So there it's not white core, it's solid core. And, uh, and so it's really still nice and thick and easy to use. Okay. So yeah, we're, we're going to jump into the cardstock in just a minute, but it's beautiful so many beautiful colors and like I said I do have a lot of discontinued colors in my shop as well and all of that is on sale woohoo <laughs> Mary maybe you did log in too early you know it, it it started at noon central so that could have been it okay <laughs> all right um let's see the uh to order for the oh Jackie said do you know the number of sheets <laughs> To order for the best postage. Um, so with Creative Memories, sorry guys, um, it's all about qua um, order quantity. So if you order from the CM link, it's um, anything that is up to $150.50, all ships for $8.95 no matter what you order. And then from my shop, I have kind of two levels if it fits in an envelope. So unfortunately, paper does not fit in an envelope. Um, if it fits in an envelope, it ships for $8.50. And if it has to go in a box, you can put as much paper pretty much in a box. It's a fl medium flat rate box, and that ships for $15.50. And the prices did go up over the holidays, but I just kind of ate some of that cost and just kept my shipping prices the same. I'm hoping those shipping prices will go back down. But if you had to ship anything over the holidays, you know what I mean. Um, so those are just kind of the two easiest ways. When I uh, have to ship out orders from my shop, I don't go by weight and zip code. It's just if it fits in an envelope, it's eight fifty. If it fits in a box, it's fifteen fifty. <laughs> so make it easy for everyone. Okay, um, great questions though. Uh, let's see. Um, <laughs> okay, the weight. So we talked about that. Hello, hello. Okay, all right, guys. So let's do something fun, and this is going to give you a little idea of what my projects, my Tuesday crafting our joy together projects are going to be like. Okay, so let's switch over to my desktop. And I think this is it. There it is. Hello. Okay, I'm going to get my tissue now. <laughs> Excuse the reach over. So today, all you're going to need to do this really fun project is your decorative trimmer and some cardstock. And basically, um, I just I just grabbed this because it was so easy to just have a whole pack of all these beautiful cardstock colors. But you can totally pick colors that you know make your heart happy for this project. And this is just kind of 
a really fun, easy, quick little uh, thing we can do together. So what we're going to do, so grab your decorative trimmer, grab some beautiful colors, and you're going to need um, six sheets of color. Okay, so any colors you want, and you're going to need six sheets. And then you're also going to need some blank cards. Okay, so we've got, I just have three. I'm not quite sure how we're going to do that. And then, <laughs> or how many I'll make, I mean. And then I'm going to use my repositionable adhesive. And um, I'm mostly, I had, there was a really good question um, in one of my groups that said, do you usually use repositionable adhesive? I think for 80% of my projects, I use the repositionable adhesive because it's just so easy, <laughs> right? If you make them, you can just lift it and move it. And it does become permanent over time. Okay, so let's come in here and we're going to pick six colors. And what is making my heart happy today? I really love the dark sea green. And let's see, I think I love that dark sea green. And, oh, I think I'm going to put that maybe with some pumpkin. Oh, well, yep, yeah, that looks good. So there's two. I think, I, oh, I've got to have purple. I'm going to come back in here and get some eggplant. And let's see. Oh, there's three colors. Um, I think red, either red, red, or let's see. I, I kind of want this uh, island waters in here too. Oh yes, that looks so pretty. Island waters and maybe, maybe actually instead of red, I'm kind of thinking we might do tonals. What if we did tonals? Okay, so that means I'm going to pull in for my six colors, some uh, a light and a dark purple, the kind of tealy greens and orange. These are these are my six colors. Now you can, like I said, you can do whatever colors that um, you're feeling, whatever you're in the mood for. Okay, I'm just going to set those aside. And uh, we had some fun using the decorative trimmer in the pop crop, but we're getting this little fun toy out again. So the first thing we're going to do is actually get our wave edge because we're going to need our wave edge to make uh, this fun card design. So I'm just, you know, kind of scooted over just so that you can get that first cut of the wave. Okay, so there it is. Now, where we're going to move the paper, so I had my paper at the top. Wherever you start, you have to always remember to put your paper back where you started. So I started at the top, and what I'm going to do is bring it over to the half inch, or let's see, hold on, it's um, after the wave. What would that be? I don't know. It's two is right there might be three quarters of an inch. Anyhow, it's this little nubby tick right there. <laughs> okay, so basically after the, the swell right here, you want to go to the very first line. So it's just like a little quarter inch is what we're going to aim for. We just want a little quarter inch strip. Okay, so the top here is going to get lined up with that little tick. And then the top of these swells is going to be on that first line, that first grid line after the wave. Okay, that's kind of how um, I gauge these, um, how, how to cut the strip. Okay, and so I'm just going to cut another one. And that's what we're going for. Just kind of a little uh, thin strip. So there's the... Uh, tangerine. Now let's do pumpkin. Okay, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to get our edge. doesn't really matter where you line that up to get your edge. And these are going to actually be fun to use too, right? These are super fun. We can use those. But what we're going for are these um, little skinny strips. Okay, so now again, I'm moving that over one notch over Okay, make sure it's even all the way up and down. Okay, and now I've got my second little strip. 
All right, now let's move on to Island Waters. It's so fun playing with color. I love color. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Here's the Island Waters. I'm gonna set that first strip aside over here. And now we are going to move that over to the first line after the bump. Okay, right here. And now I have my Island Waters strip. Okay, let's move on to Dark Sea Green. And I'm gonna just cut that edge off. There we go. Add that over here to my pile. Aren't those colors just so pretty together? I love it. I feel like it's a Caribbean cruise. This could be fun. Yeah. And that's also one thing I wanted to mention. We are going to make a card, but there is nothing stopping you from taking the same idea and translating it into a border, right? Why not? This would make an awesome border when, when you see where we're going. Okay, I'm going to get down to purple ice and I'm cutting the edge off of this. <clears throat> over here. So there's that color. And now let's get our strip to the very first bump. Oh, yeah, let's make sure I'm straight. There we go. And again, remember, I'm always up to the top. So we have another strip. And our last one is for eggplant. <clears throat> Okay, so we're going to cut the wave, add that over here, and then now we're going to do just one bump over, one grid line over, and make our last cut here. Okay, so now we have all these fun little swirlies. We have so much, so much fun, so much color that we can play around with, don't we? All right, so what we're going to do is, um, like I said, today we're just gonna make a really simple card, but it's just so much fun. So we're gonna take the two colors. So I like that I, I you know, just decided we're, we're doing tonals. So I've got the uh, two purples, right? And we are going to weave them together just like this, okay? And this is why you really do need a thin strip, a quarter inch strip. If it's too thick, you're not gonna be able to weave it together, okay? So we're going to do that. We're gonna make sure that the top and bottom are even and you're gonna get this beautiful wave strip here, okay? So you can see how that's gonna go down just like that. We can fiddle with the placement. Now we're gonna do the teal strips, okay? And again, you want the, um, so when we cut them, they all are going the same direction, but on this one, you want one of them going the opposite direction so that you can weave them together, okay? So we're just gonna kinda do that. And you can see how this would make a beautiful border, wouldn't it? Just gorgeous color, 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 all about color <laughs> for the border. And then we're going to do our um, oranges. Okay, so here we go. We're just going here. And Terry's like, I just did this this morning. Oh my gosh, creative minds think alike, right? <laughs> oh, so fun. <clears throat> And this will be available. I know some of you just said, oh, I just got here. This will be available for replay. And then the same, um, like I mentioned, my Craft Your Joy is going to be um, mostly recorded. So uh, I know, like I said, today I am live, but uh, some of these, like I said, I'm just going to be working and doing these um, uh, as a recording. So you can watch it anytime. Okay, what am I, I want these to be similar. So there we go. 
So I've got the lighter color on top, the darker color underneath. Oh, I think I want to go this way and get the same, <laughs> the same swell, right? There we go. Oh, isn't that fun? So fun. Isn't that pretty? Okay. So now what we're going to do is actually take, um, take these strips and I'm going to grab my silicone mat so that I can put some repositionable adhesive on the back of these. And um, I'm, I'm just going to put it on and then trim it off with the scissors. So basically you can do this for whatever size card you want. Um, this is one of the standard uh, size cards. I think this is the, this is a five and a half by four and a quarter that I'm using one, you know, kind of one of the standard CM white cards. And these are going to be coming back into the product line. I know they're sold out at the moment, um, but they are going to be coming back. So, so we have it there. I'm just going to add that right here to the top. Okay. And then the next one we're going to do, let's see, we're going to go this way. So I'm going to flip it over to get the adhesive on the back. Okay, pop this right underneath. And you can decide. I think we, you know, I'll, I'm going to come in here. We may, actually, I think I'm going to move this up. We may come back in and do a second row. So it just depends, you know, how big your card is and so on. So let's add those there. Let's add this in here. Isn't it fun to get our tools out and use them? And then that just, I feel like that's just going to spark your creativity when you're making pages, right? And you're like, oh, I want to make something, something fun, um, you know, like a, a, a wavy shape for my page. Hmm, how can I do that? Oh, yeah can get my decorative trimmer out. And I did that on the wrong side. Ah, I wanted it to go, hold on, wait, I wanted it to go. No, it's right. It's right. Okay. <laughs> I got all mixed up there. Um, you know, I think I'll just get my decorative trimmer out and do that wave that I made the card with. Oh yeah. You know, keep your, keep your creativity sparked. That's the whole idea of these fun, fast projects. Okay, so there we have kind of the first three on the card. Isn't that fun? So I'm just going to take and flip that over and trim these off. And it looks like I can just go ahead and do one more row. And We'll weave these back together. <laughs> they came apart. So easy though. And I've already got adhesive started on here. So let me add a little bit more. And it looks like, you know, basically one 12 inch cut from the paper is going to give you a, a nice, um, let's see. Oh, did I have that going the wrong way? Wait, did I have, oh, see now I flipped it. No, I've got it. It's just because of the way the wave is hitting. Okay, there we go. So this one's gonna be a little different pattern or we could just move it down, I think a little bit like that. Yeah, that works. So we're gonna cut a little bit off both sides this time. Get that opening in the center. Okay. And you guys can fiddle until you, you know, get it right where you want it. Okay. We're going to do the teals next. Let's see. I have this. This is on. I've already got the adhesive on this side. There we go. Flip that over. I'm going to move this over so you can see there lining up to be very similar. I think we are going to just squeeze that last one in there. 
it'll be perfect. Get that weave in there. Okay. And the last one is the oranges. I'm trying to see where my adhesive landed. Let's see. There we go, like that. Okay, so I'm gonna flip it this way. I love that you guys have tried this. That's so fun. And what a um, fun way to make a card, right? So if you're doing a birthday card, you could do this with your birthday person's favorite colors. Like you could do this with grays and browns and turn this into a very masculine card if you want to do this for a birthday or, you know, just uh, do it with uh, Valentine colors. Maybe you want to do all pinks and reds and you could do shimmer paper in here. Wouldn't that be fun? I'm just trimming, trimming off the edges just like that. And there, isn't that cute? So fun. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you guys, <laughs> I am just so, color is just making me so happy right now. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, um, you know, this is this is the free uh, do whatever you want part. However you want to add a sentiment to this card, you can do it. I'm just going to grab my banners because um, I, in my head, this is what I was thinking I was going to do is have a banner. Uh, let's see if I can find the banner I was thinking about. Um, it could be something like this. You could put a banner or down from the top like that. Ooh, that's cute, isn't it? And then you could put your sentiment on the banner. And uh, you could use sticker letters, you could cut titles, you could use your Cricut, or you could just use your handwriting and uh, just go for it there. So um, let's see, what should we write? Um, oh, this could be a thank you since we just got through the Christmas season. How about we have this as a thank you? you. So I'm just doing this in pencil and then I'm going to come back in with my pens. <clears throat> and I'm just going to use black. A nice standard black for this. I'm going to use um, the thicker point on the black. So this one I'm going to scoot the U down a little bit. So we have that. <clears throat> My pencil just kind of gave me a gauge on where I want to um, put those letters. It's always good. And I'm trying to find my eraser now. <laughs> and all my little and all my little containers. Hold on. Oh, here it is. That's a nice thing about the CM pens is they don't bleed or um, anything. You can just go ahead and erase. So we have, let me get my eraser stuff off. So we have thank you that we can just put right on top. Um, there's also stickers, of course, that you could use for the sentiment as well. But whatever you like. I mean, that's what I love about this design. You could do happy birthday, miss you, thank you, love you, um, whatever, whatever you, whatever you think would work. Okay, so there you have the super easy, fun, quick project for um, crafting your joy. I love to see if you do that. If you do it and post on social media, make sure you tag me. I think we should start a new hashtag, which is craft your joy, hashtag craft your joy. And I think that would be fun. And if you do cards, tag me 
and we could have so much fun seeing all of your creations. So this is just to kind of have some fun with the extras from what we just cut. You know, you could just keep going and use the um, leftover pieces that we cut and just make a whole fun another card, right? And just do that. You could do these as offsets. Ooh, that would be pretty. Okay, but we have to move that down. And then you have, uh, you know, I think we should just start our little stash of cards. And I know some of you guys are absolute master card makers, Mary B. Um, and, uh, you know, this is just an easy thing for you. But for some of us who are not as great card makers, um, I think it's just kind of fun to do, um, have some that we can just have on the ready as thank you cards that we can just send out when we need. Okay, so here's just a, one extra little idea to use the um, finishing Pieces. So what I'm going to do actually is just, I'm going to run my adhesive just here. I think it's only going to go about to the bottom of this card. So let's do that. And just add it this way so that once I get these in place, all we have to do is just trim them off, right? So again, I'm doing offset swells on this. And then let's pop this under there. <laughs> you can see I wasn't quite as prepared for this one. Let's see if I can actually, let's see. Let's start here. Let's do this. Let's start from the top. Maybe that. Maybe that'll be easier. Okay, I've got that one. Now let's offset this one. Here we go. That's better. There, that's where I like it. I like that swell. You can kind of move this back and forth to where you like seeing those. And this one here. There. Now we're, now we're cooking. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to move this right here. Oh, isn't that fun? And this one, let's see, I think I'm going to have to move it here. There we go. And so it actually kind of just looks like these um, are moving, aren't they? Oh, yeah. And I do have a little extra... Um, adhesive right here on the bottom. But the nice thing is you can just take your finger and wipe it right off. Okay, so here's a, just a really fun um, extra card. I'm gonna take and trim the edge off that. And I'm sure all these little extra pieces will just be fun for other projects as well, right? Okay. And this would be another great time to grab your title sticker <coughs> and title binder, right? And this is a perfect time to grab this binder and dig in here for some f a fun title. Let's see. How about congrats? Ooh, there's cherish. Congrats. Oh, look at this one. Isn't that fun? Like you could just put that right there and finished. <laughs> and that's another reason, I, as you guys know, I've done plenty of tidy up videos where we talk about how to have access to all the supplies you need just like that. But this is a perfect reason why we spend a little time getting organized so that um, it just makes our crafting that much more fun. So there you have it, the uh, two quick, fun, easy projects that you can try just to get your crafty on. And uh, 
and have some fun. So let me just come back to the chat for a moment. And um, hello, Rebecca. Hello, Carrie. Um, Pam's here. <laughs> I know. I'm excited for a new year with Craft Some Joy, too. Um, Beatrice is here. And Deborah says that would be cool as red, white, and blue. Wouldn't that? Oh, that would be awesome for um, a, a holiday card there, too. And Blanca is knitting along with me. I love it. It's just time. You can do whatever you'd like to get your crafty your, and craft your joy. So happy new year, everyone. Um, okay. So I think I got everyone's questions answered and I just want to wish you a wonderful, happy new year. I know I've been able to tell you many of you that in, um, you know, online, different uh, emails and so forth. And I hope you're going to like this new Tuesday format. So as I mentioned, just look at uh, Tuesdays at noon. There will be an upload both on Facebook and on YouTube of just a fun little fast crafty project that we can do together. Very similar, something fun, just like this. It may be a border. It may be a card. It may be, you know, just something easy that um, will just get your creativity flowing. Okay, so I hope to see you all Friday. As I mentioned, a little teaser. <laughs> I'm going to share my crafty news for 2024. A brand new product launch for Creative Memories. So I hope you do check that out. If you don't have an advisor, I would love to be your advisor and welcome you into my Craft Some Joy community. And until I see you on Friday, I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now. See you soon.